Hello and welcome to Space Claim. Have you ever needed to take a 2D design and turn it into 3D geometry? With Space Claim, you can import in DWGs and DXF and create geometry straight from them or design from scratch. Have you ever wanted to explain an idea in 3D? Space Claim lets you create geometry as fast as you can think it. Top down or bottom up, it doesn't matter. Conceptual design, conceptual analysis are now at your fingertips, allowing you to quickly cycle through many designs quickly. Have you ever found it difficult to navigate through drop down menus with hundreds of options? Space Claim has an easy to use ribbon bar interface. With a streamlined set of a few tools, you can go through and pull, move, fill, and combine geometry to do what you never thought you could in other systems. Pull allows you to distort and deform geometry. Move allows you to translate and rotate geometry. Fill allows you to simplify and clean up geometry. Combine allows you to cut or glue geometry together. And everything you can do in 3D, you can also do in a familiar 2D cross-section. Have you been unable to change a design due to regeneration failures? Space Claim lets you model in real time, and designs are modified by selecting directly on what you'd like to change. Space Claim allows you to change designs you've made from scratch in Space Claim, as well as modify geometry imported in from other systems. Space Claim Professional 2008 is the world's first natural 3D design system that empowers users to design their products faster than ever before. With Space Claim's intuitive 3D design system and streamlined interface, what you see is what you get. Space Claim is accessible to everyone from power users to part-time users, enabling them to interact directly with the model in the way they intend, making even dramatic design edits naturally, independent of how the design was created. Come see how Space Claim will change the way you think about 3D design. Hello and welcome to Space Claim Basics. In this tutorial, we'll be going over our user interface, basic navigation, and simple commands to get started. Space Claim's interface has a Microsoft Office 2007 look and feel. As you can see, we have a ribbon bar on top grouping tools according to actions. To get more detailed instructions, you can click the Help button in the upper right portion of the screen, or hover over a tool to get a tooltip with information, or press F1 to get more information specific to that tool. Our options are located under the Application menu in the top left corner of the screen, along with Open, Save, and Print. In the options, you can set your units, change snap settings, set background colors, as well as change advanced options. Starting a design in Space Claim is as simple as sketching a shape and then pulling it into a solid. We have many different sketch tools located in the sketch area of the ribbon bar. We'll start with a rectangle and can see the grid already displayed in our design window. We can always sketch anywhere there's a grid. To make a sketch, you click once to start it and click again to end it. Once we've completed the sketch, we need to pull this into a solid. Let's click our pull tool under the edit area of the ribbon bar. This will automatically bring us to 3D so we can start modeling. And remember, we have tooltips for all of our tools so you can quickly get information on them to let you know what they do. Pull can do many things like blend, draft, scale, and sweep. We're going to start with the basics. With pull, I can select on a surface and then pull it to stretch it into a solid. And after making a solid, we can still sketch anywhere on the model. We'll click circle and sketch one on the top. Now I can pull this up to make a cylinder or down to make a hole. Once I have a solid, I can still go back and select on different faces to pull and stretch them and make them larger or smaller. I can also use pull to manipulate edges. We'll select the edge and then pull it inwards, and Space Claim starts to put around on that edge. 
Now let's navigate to the other side of the model. To do so, we'll use spin, pan, and zoom. We can see, if we go to the orient section of the ribbon bar, the buttons to do them. These buttons allow you to quickly get into different views and also navigate through your part. You can also use shortcuts to manipulate your view. Using the mouse, hold down the middle mouse button and move it to spin the model around. To pan the model side to side, press shift on your keyboard and hold down the middle mouse button. And lastly, to zoom in and out of the model, press control and hold down the middle mouse button as you move your mouse. And when you scroll the middle mouse button forward, it allows you to scroll through the model on screen. This means that you can select on faces or edges normally hidden from view, or select on smaller faces without zooming in. Let's revolve this face now. Pull can do many things when we use our tool guides. They expand Pull's operations without navigating through drop-down windows, just by selecting on one of the tool guides. We'll select the surface I want to revolve, and then select the Revolve Tool Guide. Now we can select the edge I want to revolve around. And now I can start to revolve it one way or the next, or hit spacebar to enter in an exact value. Now that we've looked at Pull, let's look at Move. Move allows me to translate or rotate geometry by first selecting on an object, and then by dragging along one of the arrows on the Move handle. If I'm in the middle of a command and want to cancel it, I can always press the Escape key. We can also move two things at the same time, by selecting them when holding Control, just like selecting multiple files in Windows. Now we can move two things together. And the last thing we'll do with Move is copy geometry. If I hold Control while I move this hole, I can quickly copy it to a new location, just like copying files in Windows. The last tool I'd like to look at is Fill. Fill simplifies geometry on your model. It works by taking surrounding faces and extending them to get rid of what's selected. Here I can select on one of our holes and then press Fill, or I can select on the round to get rid of it forever. You'll see later on how Fill will really help you out in simplifying geometry. Now we'll import a model in from another system. To open a model, we can go to our Applications menu, or we can go to our Quick Access Toolbar. This has the basic commands such as Open, Save, Undo, and Redo. It can also be customized with any command in SpaceClaim. With SpaceClaim's data exchange packages, we can open up geometry from many different systems. Here, I'm going to open up a file from Inventor. And we can see here in our structure tree that we've just imported one solid. In SpaceClaim, we work with just the geometry. So if a part was created in a history-based system, we import and work with solids or surfaces. Now let's look at our model. Although the geometry was imported, I can directly select on the geometry to change it. Pulling and moving on the geometry works the same as if I created the geometry myself right here in SpaceClaim. And after making several changes to the model, I can always go back by either clicking the Undo button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or by using the shortcut Control z so I can try something else. In this short overview, we've seen how we can create geometry, import geometry, change geometry, and navigate our model with spin, pan, and zoom. Thank you for watching, and have fun creating your designs in SpaceClaim.